Right guys, welcome back. So back Saturday, Saturday, so most of the other guys are here now, so we've got a few more hands on. We're day on day four now, so are we? Day four now, the bill. So things are starting to go back together. A little bit slower today, it's going to be up there. We've got bushes and stuff to get ready and take out and paint some bits up. We need to go back and just that. Um, but as you can see, the rear axle's gone back in now, so that's going in. Uh, we've got that up, tied up, so it's on its wheels, in a, on the rear wheels in a bit. Yeah, so we can take, get rid of the rear, rear support. And then we're concentrating on the rest of the bits that we've got put on. They've all been painted up and, and things like that. So we've got a lot of bushing to do, re-bushing to do. If we turn around now, you see um, there's Richie's just doing that front panel on that rear tub there for us. So we'll get that all done. We'll come through the holes and that on that. So we can, that's the we go. As soon as we're ready to go, we can get that back onto the back and uh, tie that down. Um, so yeah, so everything's going to be a little bit slower today than what we have done over the last three days. but. We need it right so it looks good when if someone decides they want to have a look underneath the vehicle so it's going to look all nice and good under there Puma. Uh, so today also we've we've added the puma into the mix so um those that are dri that drive the, the newer ones know that there is a mod that, that's done on the transfer box gearbox um shaft so that's what we're going to do now it hasn't gone but we want to get it done just in case it does go um because this vehicle is going to go up to motorcraft motorcraft for the rear the rear body to be made to go on the back of it. So we want to get this done, all the fuel lines done, all the electrics, uh, rear lights and stuff all ready to go so we can get it up there on a the trailer so they can do their bit up there. Um, and then when we get that back, yeah, I think they said they could get it done for Christmas, Christmas hopefully. hopefully. Um, if not, it'd be early next year. So we can get it all squared away, um, get it back down here, get it MOT, get it painted up, decaled, and we should be good to go on that then. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. so. I think so. Uh, we're good. putting an adaptation on the Puma gearbox. Do you want to tell us what uh, the job is that you've been doing? You, you, Jim, and Nathan over here have been having a bit of a mare doing it, haven't you? But now it's done, eh? It's been a bit stubborn, yeah. Um, so what we're doing is replacing the standard output shaft on the gearbox. Which is this one here, this isn't is, it? Yeah, this is the standard original one. The issue is with the original one is there's no oil feed inside this blind area here. So these can corrode and in turn then wear and it causes a clunk and play which you may or may not be able to experience. And you can hear it when you're driving yeah. and change gear, you'll hear the clunk. So as a preventative measure with this one, we're putting the, um, the Ashcroft. This is the Ashcroft uh, adaptation, isn't it? Yeah, so this collar, where it's internally splined in here, two of the splines are missing opposite each other, which allows oil to come up from yep. the gearbox into this area where the spline is. And this, and this in turn then lubricates these, this splined area. Yep. Um, and then it's also got fitted with O-rings and things to prevent oil from escaping out of that afterwards. So that's the, uh, the main adaptation, yeah. Fantastic. So actually pulling the old one out wasn't that hard. It was getting the, the circlip off to start with. So this is retained by a, a spring clip inside here. Yeah. Which in and inside this little groove. Um, and you need to overcome that spring clip when you so it needed a good shock so yeah. it was it needed the help of spot the uh, slide hammer to yeah. be able to do it and once you got that slide hammer which we had to get Kev to go and get yeah. like it was you overcome it quite quickly yeah didn't it you? was very quick yeah. Then, yeah so in reality as if we started with that it wouldn't have been that big a job eh? yeah yeah I mean that that's that would have saved yeah, us a lot of time so what you, three years been on this what best part of a day yeah yeah you know like uh, which I think the videos we've watched, that's about right, isn't it? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, and we were held up for, I think you were sat waiting for a part for about, I don't know, an hour maybe? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we well, did other bits and pieces like but Yeah, good job, isn't it? Yeah, we're in there now. So it's just a reassembly, case of reassembling. Yeah. yeah, which wouldn't take too long, should it? Yeah, good job. Well done, lads. So what Kev's up to, uh, we showed you earlier on, Stu told you earlier on about the rotten front panel here, which is the front of the where the seats bolt to, uh, that was kind of rotted out. So we've replaced that there, we got a replacement panel. Uh, then we found the top was pretty, uh, well, it was a bit of a nightmare with the holes in it. Some were rotted out as well. So what Kev's done is, he's fabricated this, and we then can put the holes where we want to put the holes, and then we can fit it all together there. So that's what's happening now. So, just put the tank guard on now, and then the tank will go in. We had a bit of a nightmare with this. What was the problem with it, Stu? Um, not quite sure what's happened. Obviously, this is this has been made by, not by Land Rover. Shield by, this one? Yeah. So 
we're not sure why. Everything else is right, as in measurements, where it should be, because that's what it's supposed to be. But for some reason, the tank guard is a little bit longer. Yeah. We've, the original, this is not the original one off of it. We brought the original one down, it's exactly the same. Yeah. We don't know why it's a little bit longer. Everything else fits where it should do, but we just don't know why it was. So you've just fitted some rev nuts and a spacer or something like that, so haven't you? Just, yeah, so we just put some rev nuts in um, and we just put made some spaces out of these just to put behind it between yeah. that. So, yeah. Um, but the space for the tanks are absolutely right, isn't it? The tank is fine. Everything where it should fit, everything else is fine. So we don't know, we don't quite sure why it's done what it's done. Yeah. Yeah. Why it is what it is. Um, it doesn't matter. Yeah, as long as the job's in. We'll, we'll in. Get, you know, it's, yeah. it, all it's done is made us think a little bit. Yeah, but well, that's good, though, isn't it, in a way? That's good. Yeah. We'll yeah. yeah. tank in a minute. We'll get the new fuel pump put in um, and stuff. We'll, we'll start putting this rear axle on. We are, um, like I said to you earlier on this morning, um, today's going to be a bit slower than what the, rest, the other days have been. Just purely because we've been taking this and left the guard. Paint him, we've been paint. Paint. It's, cr it's cross threaded. Uh, the good news is the front of the top. I need to lift yeah. it. I've yeah. just showed that. Yeah. I don't want to put. Um, and that's going all the together now. Yeah, well, I'm really chuffed with that. Actually, yeah. the pulling wasn't that bad of it, like, you know, like. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, so this was always going to be a bit of a bit of a nightmare scenario today because we've got bits drying, bits yeah, we can't get on, so we're waiting for stuff. But yeah. In some ways, it's good because we've got time to paint the bits. Yeah. You know, otherwise, we'd be putting rusty bits back on. Absolutely, and we don't want to really do that. So, yeah, so we, we've got to a point, so tomorrow should be a better day. Uh, there are still a few things that we've. We're yeah. missing like the, t the, the rubbers for the top of the yes, springs and stuff like that, aren't we? The, the plates and rubbers that go on sit on top of the rear springs. So that's no drama. We can put everything on, just don't tighten it down. Uh, and then Monday when we get them, we can just pop the frame up a little yeah. bit, and pop them on, and then and then we're good, we're good to go. Uh, right, really just getting the rest of the uh, the front end done on its paws again so we can get the engine and gearbox back in, which we've done now. So just tidying up the shocks on the front end um, and springs on, just tightening them up, uh, making sure they're all connected. And then we'll go for um, we'll go for a bulkhead fit straight after this um, in here because we've got a couple of things that we need just to measure up. And we've got obviously a new new um, seal frame uh, B post and C post to put together um, so we just want to measure up make sure that's correct and that's got to be welded up isn't it yeah so we've got to weld that in uh, once we've got that in hopefully we'll get the uh, rear wiring loop put through um, and sit that in place um, what we did find with the chassis is it's not got the hole for the rear, uh, yeah, rear wire to go through there, but it's not, quite, it's not quite big enough so we're just going to have to open that up a little bit so we'll do that in a bit and then hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll go for rear tub fitment, not not bolted on, but rear tub on um, by the play today. And hopefully. The other thing we're doing is uh, we're going to Lanagard the chassis, isn't we? We've yeah, just, so just received Lanagard there. Eh? Billy's just bought this stuff down, I don't know if you've seen it, it's plastered all over Facebook and stuff like that these days now. Um, a family run company, they, they've gave us like a good discount on this. Uh, um, we can do give that a go. inside the chassis and uh, what you can do you can apply this to the whole vehicle uh, engine as well like uh, and protect that uh, we can do it inside the chassis which we've just started doing yeah it's got a four-way nozzle uh, on the end of that this or one this one here uh, we just I'll just show you here it's okay. got a four-way nozzle there all comes that you all can see okay, that's it and uh, that'll do it inside the chassis. I mean, we have got a galvanised chassis, so it shouldn't need it as such, no. but we're going to future protect the vehicle. But yeah, I mean, the stuff that you can put on it just makes it a bit, you know, just makes yeah. it kind of thing. But like you say, it's galvanised in there, so it shouldn't do anything. Non-toxic as well, it's a natural yeah. product. Uh, so, so, yeah. Yeah. so, yeah. So we're going to, going to go through this. So before we put the tub on, we'll have done the top of the chassis. Yeah. Um, once we've... Got we'll everything on, we'll yeah. do underneath. We'll get to all the bits and bobs we can't do when the chassis, uh, when the tub and everything's on. So we'll do probably most of it before we start putting yeah. things on. So we'll probably get the rear axle done from the top um, and get all that done. And then um, anything else that's in there that, that needs to be done, we'll do before we get the tub on. Because it just, it just makes life easier without the tub on. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. So it's massive progress yet again, isn't it? So, yeah, yeah. Um, well, and this is the bit, once we get that lump on, once we get that lump on and get this lump on, then it, it all starts to look like a Land Rover again. Yeah. And then, you know, it's the, once, 
everything else is put together. It's the fiddly bits about making sure everything lines up correctly. Um, roof, windscreen, uh, all the electrics are done right, you know. And we're going through, we're going through the electric slowly. Stu's done the electrics on on these over the weekend, so he, you know, he's taken all the things, made sure all the things are right, labelled them up properly, um, put new connectors on each on each plug, which is really cool. So he's done that one, which is front to rear. So that takes you up to the rear, and he's done the, the other one that's back there, which just, is just by the tool box, Alan. Yeah, which is your um, engine. Bath wiring yeah. And stuff oh yeah. Like that. So yeah. Yeah, so, so he's, he's done them all actually, hasn't he? He's done the, all the limbs. Yeah. So nice. let's crack on and get us done now. Cool. Right, guys. Um, not as where I wanted to be yesterday because we had a few issues with shock absorbers and stuff like that, anyway. But um, today we've done all right. Unfortunately, Duncan's been on his own for most of the day because I've got some other work that needs to be cleared. But anyway, so managed to get all the shocks on. So the front end's on now. As you can see, all, all, all up, upgraded. Um, Steering arms and, and track rod on, uh, uh, track arms and stuff like that, and uh, panel rods gone in with new bushes and stuff. So we've used that, like terra firma kind of steering damper and shocks and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, so that's all gone on. Um, the anti-roll bars went in yesterday. So yeah. Down in there. Yeah, heavy duty too, isn't it? Heavy duty, yeah, it's heavy duty. Did, um, did the same in the back. Not much happened to the back today, apart from the fact that we put the props on now, front and back. Um, so they're all on now. Um, and then we've just dropped in the bulkhead. Yeah. So that'll be the next thing now, we'll, we'll, just to get that tied down, bolted down. Um, so square. We've, we've heard a lot about uh, things not fitting shielder wise, but yeah. we've not seen that so far. I think the only thing we've found so far is the hole for the uh, running the loom through. You had to. Uh, yeah, make I just that had bigger. to. I just to make make it slightly bigger. But what, what there was enough? a hole there, it just, we just had to make it bigger, didn't yeah. we? So that's the only thing that so far so we've found. Yeah. And we know we've got to make a few um, holes in the, yeah, so the bulkhead got, and we've things. Got a couple of holes here for the main bracket that sits on the front here. Yeah. So both sides, yeah. Both sides. Um, so, yeah, but so far, so far, so good. 